Well, fellas, who among <laughs> us doesn't lose to a mirage? Maybe a deceitful, uh, uh, an after image, uh, a uh, something that isn't quite as it looks like it should be in real life. Maybe a lie. Uh, and, it, and I know a lot about lying about the Digimon TCG. This is my best segue I've ever done, by the way. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm knocking out the park. Um, we're playing Mem Gauge of the Room. It's oh. The- it's my week. Mickey knocking it out of the park. You made a Twitter for uh, Manchester Digimon. I did. I have been working on graphics. I have a job as well, so it's been a little bit of a challenge this Not week. Really. But if you guys want to follow uh, MCRDTCG on Twitter, like unofficial fanboy server slash Northwest Digimon. We should probably start um, posting the podcast on there, huh? We hadn't discussed if we were willing to. I probably <laughs> right should. We kind we're of are right the voice now. of Northern we, Digimon. Exactly. So, hello, Editing Andrew, for when you make this into a YouTube video, and the viewing audience here live on the internet. Uh, this is memory. And the, the parentheses are there, by the way, if you tweet it out or anything. Memory. <laughs> Gauge the room. Uh, these fine... Wait, hang on. These fine three gentlemen are going to be competing in a game of fooling you, the live audience. Uh, if you want to play live, you go over to twitch.tv slash KNTLXR, where you can get your hard-earned channel points, and we will swindle you out of them. Yeah, you want to resolve uh, and make me dab a couple more times as well. You can steal that money from other <laughs> yeah. people. Exactly. Uh, in Mem Gauge the Room, one of these three fellows will be read a statement, or they will all be read the same statement, excuse me, uh, a statement like, there are too many Greymons in the Digimon TCG. And two of them will give their honest opinion on the statement, and one of them will be deceitfully lying. Uh, it is up to you, the live audience, to try and work out who's doing what. So, uh, you all ready to play Memory Gauge the Room? Mm-hmm. Just like, hey, this is a thing we do now uh, as part of the live thing. But this will also be the YouTube video. So hello, YouTube audience as well. If you're uh, seeing this, you missed it. But let us know what your record was in the comments because play along at home. Maybe next time show up to it live. Um, Here's what's up. So these three folks have been given their instructions. Please check our individual DMs, not the podcast chat boys. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and get started. My timer will be... Oh, we've had some feedback. We're going to up the timer this week to 60 seconds instead of 30 seconds. If they start floundering and they don't know what to say for 60 seconds and they give themselves away, and that's part of the game. <laughs> um, as always, I do it through drawing straws. So nice and easy. No random... or Sorry, all random chance. No funny business. Uh, but fellas, the statement you are going to be issued to address today on Memgage the Room is... EX formats, Highlander, 3v3, monocolor, are exciting concepts that draw players to events. So one more time, it's EX formats, like Highlander, 3v3, monocolor, and then recently we had the Nova Endless one, so something like that, uh, are exciting concepts that draw players to events. Uh, Let's the boys think about what they'd like to say for a second, uh, and then we'll get going. Again, 60 seconds is a long time. They're here live doing this, so it's a challenge. Uh, I'm does anyone want to go? I, does anyone want to go first? We don't have to make Andrew do it. It is funny. I can, if Andrew wants to go first, that's fine by me. But I don't mind going first. I I'm happy to go first on this one. I'm usually pretty quick at figuring well. out my uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, what he's yapping. Yeah, my yap right. tree is maxed out, bro. I'm always ready. Memory yapping the room. <laughs> uh, you all are you ready to go, Andrew? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, I'll count you in. Are you ready? Yep. Three. Two, one, and go. All right, so I will say that they are really, really interesting concepts. I think changing the default formula was something that can always be really interesting. I remember when mulligans were a hip new concept for the Digimon card game, and that was something that people would actively go and try and participate in because it does change how the game is played. I will say, though, that probably they would be better received by long-term players if we had more standard offline tournaments. I think there'll be less complaints from longer players who just want to play some regular Digimon, but then also have a side event that has some wacky formats so they can test things out. Right now, we just don't have enough in-person events to justify half of your tournament prizing beyond an event where maybe your main deck is completely unplayable in the case of like the single color formats. But all in all, I think they're a great way to get new players into the game where there's maybe some still high stakes, but... Not everyone's going to be at full power because the format has been changed or warped in some way. And I think there are definitely more interesting ways that they can approach it in the future. That's your time. Well done. 60 seconds. Almost on the dot. Nice with it. So that's Andrew's opinion on the statement. EX formats, Highlander, EX, uh, 3v3, Monocolor are exciting concepts that draw players to events. Uh, Marcio and Jamie, who would like to go next? 
I can go next. Cool. Sure. Right, Marcy, I'm going to count you in. You ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. Um, I don't think they draw that many players to events. I think if they're short and sweet, say, for example, like a monocolor event or a 3v3 or, you know, a Highlander, you can get away with it. I think my perception of these things has soured a little bit from, like, the monocolor Ultima Cups from, like, when they first did, like, the alt, uh, the alt uh, rule set. Because a lot of people could just not play the, the deck that they wanted to play. And the artificial meta got really stale very quickly. So I don't mind them doing I don't mind doing them like once in a while. But I think most of the time people just want to play like the deck that they want to play. Now, I will say events where we're exploring something that could potentially influence like the way that we play the game. So for example, mulligans, I think those tend to be a bit more well received. I think were we to do something with sideboards again, you know, try it again to see what people would think, maybe a reduced number, I think maybe we could, you know, start... Uh, That's your time. Uh, I was going to say, I was going to say, uh, we could start thinking about maybe, like, uh, changing the main rule set again, but, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'll just let you guys know, I think it's funny that the two of you have walked into Mulligans. That was one of the statements from Memgage this week, is that rule additions are welcome changes to Digimon, so <laughs> we'll move that one to a later time. Um, Jamie, my boy, are you ready to go third? Sure, let's, let's kick it. Let's All go. Right, one more time for the YouTube audience. Uh, Jamie is responding to the statement, EX formats like Highlander, 3v3, Monocolor are exciting concepts to draw players to events with. Jamie, your time starts in three two one go okay so we've down here in the south we've actually tried this before I and mean, it's drawn in a lot of other players like a lot of new players as well and they've kind of come back with the feedback that it is is it is a little bit interesting for them because they get to try out new deck styles they aren't locked into one particular thing and it also gets them to like join the community a lot quicker um and they they've said that they really enjoyed it. They loved being able to have the restrictions, especially coming from like Magic: The Gathering, where I think Highlander is Commander or something, right? Mm -hmm. Or is are they still two different things? I can't remember. Um, but they they really enjoyed playing that in the past, and it's just like the the whole concept of the thing of locking it down being it's like a challenging run, like in Pokemon with the Nas Lock sort of thing. They like a lot of our locals have done that, but in terms of other players far afield. It's a chance to try out a lot of different strategies, and I think like That's your the time. others. Have... Okay. Good effort, you guys. Have... See, the sixty seconds might be working out. You guys kind of got actual points in through this one. I'm hearing I the. Felt like I was so many brought up in the chat. The uh, so many brought up in the chat that we could maybe have like a counter, so like people. Yeah, that's gonna be. The... Yeah, we will get that going. Next soon, YouTube too. videos technology. I'll have that ready. Can't promise it'll be ready for the next mem gauge, but it'll be ready for the next YouTube video. Okay. Um, but of course, now we come to the part where you guys have to play along as the Who? live viewing audience. Which one of these three folks was telling Who you? Who is what? sus? Which one of these sussy bakas was I think not it's Andrew. being 100 emoji with you? Do you think it's Andrew? Sure, yeah, I think, yeah, it's, yeah, Andrew. Yeah. I think he... it's you, Masco, honestly. You, you think I enjoy playing alt format? Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, bro, you, you, you play green, you play blue mode, what do you Dude, mean? You, you just turn all your green cards sideways. Jamie, I play blue mode out of necessity. I don't play blue mode because I enjoy it that much. <laughs> you're you're fine my, in like... I play because my color has nothing else! You're fine in mono, mono color at that point. I though. hated mono color, it was fucking boring! <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was leaning Jamie, but that's only because I know Marcio hates monocolor, but he is also always worth dumping channel points into. That boy is That is true, shit. that is true. No, but I think, I, I think Andrew actually likes all, uh, uh, alt format because you get to play, like, weird-ass decks. Like, imagine you actually get are allowed to bring a Venge Kid Turbo to an event. That, that's what I mean. <laughs> it's literally like Andrew's running a Nuzlocke at this point. Man's locked down on a certain color and yeah. is like... I'm running not, it down. I'm always playing Digimon Bloom chooses the pilot, <laughs> not the other way. <laughs> okay, you get okay. like you get handed the booth. <laughs> that is that is the nightmare book. Where is? Where is? 
<laughs> uh, we've just lost whatever Spanish speaking component of our audience we had. Yeah, See y'all later. Here for Come Alicante back next and week. they're like, woo! It's like, ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, by the way, in Alicante, there were like 10 like Portuguese players, which I think is really funny. But none of them did well, so it's just like sick. We're not even beating the fucking like Spain is just better allegations, you know? Do you know who was beating like, France still... is just better allegations? Canada. They cleaned up at Battle of BC. It was mad funny seeing all the French Canadians beat like Gluto and shit in double. <laughs> That was hollow. Is, is Jordan Jones Vortex DCG, by the way? He was the highest placing British I think player. so, yeah. I think oh, so. Kudos to Jordan. Uh, anyway, uh, that was a lot of not uh, pointing the accusation at each other for a game of them gauge the room. Was the, was all right, I can tell you that people... All right, yeah, we do have the results in. Oh, yeah, go ahead. So, running up the rear, uh, nobody thinks that Jamie was lying, except me, apparently. 14% uh, of the vote. Think that Marcio was lying, and at 86%, they think it's your boy who was lying. And I can tell you, after checking my Discord DMs again, I did not grief the segment, and I was telling the truth. I knew you were telling the truth. I just wanted to make it seem like. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, channel points. <laughs> uh, of course, we do have a liar in every round of Mem Gates the Room. Do you mind letting us know who you are? It was me. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I absolutely despise these formats, and my <laughs> locals running them really pains me every time we run them. They do not run perfectly. All of the players did not come to me and tell me they were good. They told me they did not know what they were doing. <laughs> I think it's funny. You brought up a point that I had heard, like an actual argument somebody had told me, which was that like back in, was it like the December LT Cup, this most recent block, where it yeah. was like only the like three like most recent expansions yeah uh i knew a bunch of people were stoked to play digimon again because it was only new cards and i was like wow this is not a group of it's, folks it's who i expected to exist um oh really quick i'm not even the best portuguese player i got beaten in the like uh country mirror match like last year some guy oh, like... by the dorbit guy no 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 the, 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 he was playing like war Greymon, but I, right. I lost in the portuguese mirror so i'm washed Hell yeah! Spending I hear Porto has an absolutely. England. I hear Porto has an absolutely banging local team. It's all I see on Twitter. Oh, um, but yeah, anyway. to stop by. Yeah, for real. Uh, but of course, that's round one of Mem Gage Room. Congratulations to the nobody who figured out. <laughs> 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 you guys, again, you this game is actually not that hard. You just have to think everybody's talking bullshit. Yeah, this um, one is uh, like. I love like Trust Lethal or no Living because sometimes it's like, oh yeah, you know, I went like X2 or, you know, oh, I only got one wrong, I went 4 uh, Like, everyone, I'm like, what's the damage at? It's like, my wife left me and she took the house. We have no more <laughs> channel points. I cannot discern lie from truth. It's awful. <laughs> I live in shadow. <laughs> See, right. I thought I was uh, really pandering at some point as well. I thought I was going to get caught out real easy. See, I think no. the 60 seconds kind of gives you guys a little bit of a smoke screen. The other problem is you're also saying... We all kind of said the, the format and idea is cool, but we need more regular schmegular Digimon before we start doing the goofy shit. And uh, because yeah. me and Marcio yeah. both really said that, and you were like, ah, oh, it's cool. Like, we all said the same thing, it's just that... If there were more events, right? Like, give me more regular, like, Digimon events where I can just play regular-ass Digimon, and then, if I, you know, completely yeah. int my, my tournament run, I can go play in the side events, then I'm chilling. Yeah, no, I, I, but I, I agree as, like, side events, they're cool. Yeah, just don't put them at as... the start of round fucking three, and yeah. you have to drop from regionals and with two other idiots for a hundred pound prizing. Again, no, I'm still mad about that. Yeah, Don't same. Every so often, I wake up. I and think I just about. I have to. They were the, the metal Greymons are worth so much money too. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, but of course, there are many rounds in a game of men gauge the room. You three should have had your instructions sent to RDMs, uh, and the statement that they will be responding to this time are: there are enough beginner friendly decks, and oh, sorry, enough beginner friendly and high skill floor decks in every color in the game. So one more time, the statement that they're going to be responding to are, there are enough beginner-friendly and high-skill floor decks in each color in the game. Uh, give these guys a minute to think. As we get on through Mem Games... This is like the most... To... This yeah, is the we... most we all have to think about a question yeah. in a while. Bro, <laughs> I, I like to... does so much heavy lifting in that statement. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, well, I, I like to think it means you guys have a chance to smoke screen each other. So uh, one more time for our live audience, where you start throwing around your accusations about who's going to have what opinion. You guys watch a lot of Andrew's videos. You know when he thinks something is fun and not. Um, there are enough beginner-friendly and high-skill floor lists in every color in the game. So, uh, fellas, I have drawn the straws. All that is left is, of course, to time you guys while you try and come up with something. All right. Does anyone want to volunteer to go first? I'm happy to be the front runner. Tradition at this point. Alrighty. My boy, I'm going to give you a 3, 2, 1. You ready? Yes, sir. 3, 2, 1, go. Basically, ever since they started making the starter decks playable, there's been enough easy to understand and decently powerful decks with a little bit of investment. Jessmon is a great example of a starter deck that you're not just buying for the Altart Davis that comes free with it and can actually get you like a top 32, a top 64 if you just make some good choices and you speak to people that aren't afraid to grind the game. Uh, I mean, Rapid is another great example where that deck is set up pretty much for success in the next format. Beelzemon's another one where the good players will be making good decisions with good cards, whereas the new players will be making maybe less optimal decisions with good cards and still be able to learn a brand new deck and learn the game and get into the game and still see results. But what will turn them from a new player to a good player will be those reps and that experience that helps you make those decisions, find those through lines that will actually turn you into a successful player. Alrighty, so Andrew makes a case for starter decks in his answer. Uh, of course, we oh, let's just go ahead and have Marcia go second if you're good for that. I like yeah. letting, the, letting the guests go last because they will just by the numbers have the fewest reps on this bullshit it is great. Yeah, I think it's fun. Um, all right, Marcio, I'm going to count you down. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. So I think there... I want to say colors, right? Because when we're looking at colors, like every color having a beginner-friendly deck and then like a high ceiling deck, I don't think that is the most... Like that's not the case all the time because like I think red hasn't had skill expression in a while i think most of the red decks are pretty linear um except for like off the top of my head like phoenix mon is like the next deck that will actually have like some expression purple tends to be a very like complicated deck most basic purple strategies because you're manipulating an extra resource they tend to be like a bit of higher ceiling so they're not as beginner friendly for new players even when you think like something like lugamon which is like a straightforward otk deck it still has its like uh, weird plays. Yellow is a little bit weird because a new player won't instantly like recognize how strong DP minus is. Uh, but I would That's say like time. I was gonna say I think like green is like a more beginner friendly uh, color, and then black is always a weird one because a lot of beginner players will like oh, gravitate. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, bro, bro, wait, wait, to, wait, bro is wait, actually wait. taking his one more. Just taking the whole extra thing. We call it at 60 seconds. Bro, his, That's Marcio's case for red being easy, seconds. purple being hard, and the other colors being sprinkled in. His 60 seconds are longer than my 60 seconds. Yeah, for sure. It's, Marcio runs on Capcom fighting games 60 seconds. Yeah. Uh, but that is how it goes sometimes on this the, the most challenging of games of Mem Gauge the Room. Jamie, the, one more time, the statement you'll be responding to is, there are enough beginner-friendly and high-skill lit floor lists in every color in the game. You ready to go? Sure. Let's, All right, can you in? Let's see what my mouth can spurt out. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I think I'm actually going to have to agree with Andrew on this one with the, the starter decks making it a lot more accessible for the players, simply because if you're looking at in terms of rule set sort of thing, where Marcia was saying uh, players might not recognize that DP minus is a really strong ability, it like the, the starter decks allow you to be able to teach those players how to how to play the game um the blue green and pilgrimon one is a great one teaching you dna mastemon one the same sort of thing teaching you dna i believe with the yellow sprinkled in the yellow purple from the trash sprinkled in you've then got the the new uh terriamon one that's the name of it uh that's obviously teaching you how to do the the armors and the d not the dp reduction well the dp reduction i guess off of rapidmon 
but like potentially warping through the armors into Mega Cargo. Um, you've then got, like Andrew said as well, the Jessmon, the Ragnarod. But then looking at those high That's skill suit. Time. Yeah. He didn't manage. It. I need to that talk happens. faster. Yeah, that's right. what happens. It's we can give him a seconds. sentence finish. We can give him a sentence finish. Finish your sentence. I was just gonna say, but then the high skill for ceiling decks. There's many more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have uh, two advocates for starter decks. Somehow meaning that there are both beginner friendly and high skill floor decks. Marcio's case on the different colors. But of course, the game is not just about hearing these guys yapping. It is about making the judgment call here in our live Twitch audience. So if you've got channel points and you think one of these three folks has not been 100% honest with you, go ahead and put their names down. We're going to find out who done it. Um, I think it's funny that you guys... like Yap or Cap. Yap or Cap is the realist. Um, I think it's interesting that you guys all were like, it's not so much about if the deck is easy so much as it is accessible to new players that like i think there might have been a blurred line of like oh, I think that's no forgot- it's not even that like starter decks by design can't be complicated because it yeah. will be someone's unique introduction to the game they're getting their rule book and that well okay they used to get their rule book and now they just get their 50 cards and they just go you'll figure it out so like well, the, the, the back of the mat the back of the mat yeah. right the other thing is that we have advanced decks and starter decks yeah that's what i was okay. going to say so to be fair you got to think like we're not getting star decks anymore we're getting advanced deck sets no, we're, literally getting we're, getting, we're getting liberator, liberator is literally the next one. Oh, is it okay, yes. okay but what i was going to say is like when was the last time there was like a yellow ass like starter deck to get you into playing yellow yellow has been like i'm getting so heated about yellow lately because like every set it's a different like gimmick and like the most Never consistent been. that color has been for a while is like shine Greymon. And it's like, wow, guys, we're really reinventing the Tesla wheel here. Well, I mean, that's the problem because yellow's two gimmicks are recovery plus one and uh, DP minus. DP and then if you're Terry, it's memory uh, number go up and down kill. And they're not going to print any of that for any time soon. I mean, to be fair, Overclock looks like it is going to yeah, be yeah, like... Yeah, Overclock is cool. funny as hell. But like, most, uh, most, like, if they print another TK starter deck and it's just like, ah, oh, number go up. <laughs> it's <laughs> yellow vaccine support. <laughs> it's just another <laughs> copy of the Padamon effect. But my no, thing is like, no. yellow has been like, I don't know how a new player looks at modern yellow and goes, wow, this is really exciting, guys. I really want to... Pl- like, unless you're like a Padamon lover and your name is like, Patamon Lover 420 on you know Andrew's like DP minus comment section. Uh, well, that's it's just like right. It's, how well, how they had like, to catch yellow up with EX6, so they were like the only cool mono yellow archetype we really still have left is the angels. That's the thing people get into, like yeah. people who like Digimon Adventure, like Patamon and Gatamon. So it's like, let's make okay. the angels finally work. But what about fucking blue, did. though? Blue, the difference between a good blue player and a bad blue player is just like, oh, this guy unsuspended one extra time than the other guy, so they're probably a little bit better. Blue just is like kind of autopilot. I'm just saying. I had to twitch my Twitch handle. That's so real. <laughs> um, but that's our time on the uh, audience participation type beat. All right. So, we have uh, Andrew, we have the numbers. Well, right? Yes, we have one more before I have a silly segment. Okay, who was cool. the liar? So we have an ad break in four minutes. So. Uh, everyone thinks it's me. Like it's just straight up. Everyone thinks it's me. Wow, two for wow, two. two for two. The audience not feeling Mr. Elixir, Mr. Streamer himself here on April Fool's Day. A man gets a retwist, and all of a sudden, everything he says is lies. <laughs> yeah, I'm just there with this like, ah, well, you know, Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Right, uh, I have... Andrew, were you the liar? Uh, egg on your face two times in a row. I'm telling the truth. I think that uh, genuinely uh, there's enough accessible decks in the game where the skill floor can be nice and high. But are they for every But what about the skill ceiling? Because I oh, don't yeah, think we ceiling. answered. Yeah, the skill yeah. ceiling has changed based on like good decisions and finding through lines. The, the, the Andrew that got into Digimon and BT8 with armors is not the same Andrew that is playing armors today. I'm a much better player, even though the cards have basically not changed. Yeah, bro makes this game so hard to play like he isn't just answering the questions. Yep, I understand. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's about intent. Will, I've learned will the to... liar make themselves known to the audience, please? It was me again. 
Hello. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. Jamie didn't answer the question, so he. No, I, he was just like, "Oh, <laughs> as soon as you answered half the question." Yeah, you no. both. You both said the exact same thing. You both went, "Yeah, there sure are easy decks now." Ignoring no. the high so, skill floor no, list. So my point here. My point here was, I was running through the colors. Andrew was just talking about starter decks. Yeah. No, you. I was. I was going to list off the rest of the colors. colors. You literally went through all the colors. I literally said blue green for imperial. No. Yeah, but you were like, Imperial you know, teaches you Jogress, and Mastermind teaches you Jogress. Yeah. yeah, bro, you didn't answer the second half of the question about the skill floor. I was getting floor. there. I, yeah, you were getting there, but I'm bad at timing. To get there. I at I'm least bad at answered the uh, question. I love, I love this game. I this is the most fun I have every other week. I, I, said, I said, there are a bunch of easy decks, they're easy to pick up, but the good players yeah. will take those same cards and use them better. How is that yeah. not answering the question? Jamie said, there are these decks. Colors are these decks. Tom specified with, co there is every color. What if we had a good black starter deck that isn't Ragnarok? Ragnarok's not a good black starter deck. Exactly, what that's what I mean. Yes, one. No, no, <laughs> he got you there. No, he got you that's there. Red. That's red. That's our red Excuse starter Excuse me, deck. you literally get given black cards in your deck. Three. Yeah, one of them, one of them, one... Gankumon. Yeah, one of them. Oh, yeah, 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 yellow got a good starter deck. Gankumon's really good. Yellow hasn't had a good starter deck. That's what I mean. Yeah. That's what I'm going to say when, I, when I'm like, yeah, yellow and black. Tom, both can you repeat are... the question for me? Yeah. Cause now I'm yes, sorry. fellas, the question as, it was, as you were supposed to respond to, I think Marcy just about got there. Uh, it is, there are enough beginner-friendly and high-skill floor decks in every color. So Marcio was like, there are no high skill floor red decks, and he said there are no low skill floor purple decks, therefore the statement is untrue. And then he was like, blue burr. I was told to lie. I was told to lie, and therefore I was like, yeah, there's a yellow and a black star deck. They're not good, though, but you know. Yeah, this is the <laughs> other thing, is we can't actually harp on Jamie. He's playing he them against the room. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, to be fair, I was just talking about, like, really, I missed the last bit of the color, but, I mean, it's gonna fix it. How did nobody, nobody talk about Beelzebun? Beelzebun is like literally the statement it because a new player will go, Beals. yeah, people will go, wow, this Beelzebun guy is really cool from Digimon Tamers. I love milling. That's Wait, me. why did I deck out? And then they'll be like, uh, yeah, my name is uh, Joshua Hernandez. I'm from Miami. I love <laughs> Beelzebun. I play every event. This is my top 16 at PPG. Uh, I played four training. Why is nobody playing four training in Beelzebun? Dude, already the gang. fact that we had to do an and and then there was two ands in that statement. That's crazy. You you said it's like find the magical line. Yep. I, I told you if we're having 60 seconds, I'm making the questions a little bit more complicated. Oh, yeah. If I'd have timed myself correctly, I would have had the decent timing of yeah, there's some pretty high skill decks on every color. Okay, bar yellow, I mean I think that's... They won red high ceiling deck. Unironically, I can tell you this. Yes, one. Oh, well, yeah, I kind of Mr. think Jasmine has yeah. a high skill skill. Mister, I will resolve my when did you evolvings and win the game. Uh, yeah, but you, be, yeah, but then yeah. you've got there to know which a... sister, you've got to know which sister to play out. What each sister does, you've got to see the line. You've got to not int the line Marcio, into some new monster. Ignoring Jamie because he's bad at defending himself. In his I... defense, him and Trix were so much further ahead of every other Jasmine player that it wasn't funny. At, like you look at results, and it just came down to like, oh yeah, two cards were different, and they used them correctly. So, like, that actually had skill expression. Deck building, yes. But Jessmon is literally like, hmm, which sister you play? My brother in Christ, if you get given the sister, because there'll be games where you're sisterless, or no you're sisters. hanging out with your aunties and all of your sisters, okay? Bro, the congregation is always with you. What do you mean? It is, it is Easter Monday, my friend. Jesus Jess is with Mon us. Jessmon is like... Jessmon is like... You're gonna talk that up? The sister mom's on bank holiday Monday, yeah. guy? That's messed up. <laughs> Jessmon is literally like, I'm going to see all my pieces, or I'm going to see none of my pieces. And like, sure, when you see your pieces, you then are given lines, but the amount of games where you just lose because your deck just turns off... Brother, it's like they're ah. always in the chapel. What do you mean? You're cool, my, when you my ceiling them. was just too. My ceiling was so high that I couldn't find a level three. You know, I never said there was space above me. I just said there was a ceiling above me. Yeah, but that would be a high skill ceiling. Anyways, yeah. Third question. <laughs> I still, I still defend my tech. I starter decks covers basically every color. I got most of it. Well done, gentlemen. For we are going into our final round of mem gauge. The, sorry, mem gauge the room this week. Uh, the statement they will be responding to for this round three is. I know what the best deck in the next format will be. Are we talking about BT16? The next format. 
Is that EX6 and VT16 or just 16? The you next to... format. Okay, fine, whatever. I will, I will play your game. 16 it is then, lads. <laughs> So one more time for our live audience. I These two think. fellas are going to be going. They are going to receive uh, their information from me and our DMs now. I'm going to start doing this first so they have time to think about it. Yeah, I'm looking um, at the release window. You will not. Oh right, I need to see actually my question. Sixteen is May, and then oh, not question, but my statement. Is... Okay. okay. All right, you've all been sent your instructions in our DMs once again. And one more time, the statement that these folks are responding to is. I know what the best deck in the next format will be. So they've given them time to think about it. They've all had their instructions sent over. I've drawn the straws out of my little web app. All is going well. Uh, these guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to riff a little bit longer. We're talking specifically about this in vague terms because I am trying to introduce some evergreen questions to engage <laughs> the room, which we can use later on to start arguments on the internet. Are, are we oh, saying a... the deck name that we think it is or no? Ah. The statement you will be responding to oh. is, I know what the best deck in the next format will be. Oh, no. So, wait, hold on. Am I... You swim, Jamie. I'm no helicopter parent. So let me let me get this right. Say, for example, I, I have to answer the question, like, directly, right? Yeah, you have to you have to address the statement, I know what the best deck in the next format will yeah, be. Yeah, try and get at least, like, 90% of the question correct, and... Let the rest of your co-hosts in for you. Okay. Let me, let me give a quick scroll through the set again. What's great is, now that I understand, that I, I, you know, I'm back into the, the, the Tomverse, and I, I understand the game of the house always wins, my answer probably would have been the same regardless. It's good to be king. <laughs> Alrighty, boys. I think you've all had plenty of time. Okay, H, you've also and got And if you don't know on. the exact cards in the next set, I don't think it's gonna matter. If Jamie's going last, off. so he has two other people, one of which may be capping before him to figure out his answer. Uh, I'm gonna count you in, Andrew. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm just gonna check Discord one last time. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Also locked in. Andrew will be assessing the statement. I know what the best deck in the next format will be in three. Two, one, and go. I do believe, as a master of data analytics and being friends with the Tommy NT, I am clued in as to what the next deck that will win uh, the BT16 format will be. There's plenty of cards added. There's plenty of cards that get support. And I think that there is a clear favorite. In fact, I could probably even name the whole top three. I'm just that confident that I know exactly what is going to win the next big event. Spend mono coins. Uh, I'll cut you off there, guy. He doesn't even need the time. 21 seconds left to go. That's Andrew's opinion on the statement. I know what the best deck in the next format will be. Uh, but when we have to go forward to the next player, the next player comes up next in line. And Marcio... Are you ready to answer the statement? I know what the best deck in the next format will be. Mm -hmm. All right. You're going in three, two, one, go. I don't think I know what the best deck in the next format is because people's perception of what the best deck is tends to go off of recent results or like random content created influence. So while I think a, a, a deck would be like the best deck in the format, uh, Johnny Smith across the, the, the street will probably think a different deck is better. So while sometimes there are clear best decks in the format, next format I have no clue. I can I can maybe guess like five decks that would be very good for an event, but even then, unless I play test <laughs> and I, I come to a conclusion wh where you know where I think the best deck is, most of the time I just don't know. I just pick a deck that I think is good enough and I just rock with it. I'll cut you off there. He only needed 50 of those 60 seconds, folks. He's that sure he's being 100% with you there on that take. But of course, the game goes in threes. Jamie, are you ready to respond to the statement? I know what the best deck in the next format will be. Oh, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. I'll count you in. Running. We're going three, two, one, go. 
I 100% know what the next deck is going to be. That is the winning winning deck across all the entire BT16 format here. Probably EX6 as well, if Tom wants me to answer that, but I know. Right now he said next format, so BT16. It's going to be a purple, red, black, green, blue. It's going to be an orange deck, of course, as well. Uh, I'm joking about that one. I made that one up. Uh, but there's going to be blue in there somewhere, probably. Uh, I've already said blue. I don't know what's going on. It's going to be one of the colors. You'll find out. <laughs> I'll cut you off there, Jamie. <laughs> Are you crisp 35 second handoff to determine that he thinks the best deck in the format is orange? <laughs> <laughs> All righty then, chat room. What of these three's giving answers to the statement, I know what the best deck in the next format will be, has sort of led you one way or another? Do we think, Andrew, I love... I, I gave you guys no stipulations. I was like, the statement is, I know what the best deck is. And not one of you said a deck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what else you you said? We, ch- we checked, but we did not have to. No, yeah, I know. It's great. Ain't going to turn yourselves into a Twitter clip that way. What color did I miss? <laughs> I was what color, color didn't you, you miss? You forgot red. <laughs> I said red. No. What was the first one? You said it? yellow, blue, green, purple, Orange. orange. <laughs> he's a he's a Digimon player with color blindness. Come on, so true. There's literally <laughs> dozens of us. No Takato, you might when you need it. Um, but chat room. Orange this, is, this is where you guys come in. Don't even tempt me on that. This is where you guys come in. Uh, I need to know which one of these folks gave you guys the heebie-jeebies and has got you thinking that perhaps they were not being one hundred percent truthful in their opinion on that statement. Um, they are all answering like they have a gun pointed at them. That gun is Andrew's YouTube shorts. <laughs> yes, really is. Can I just say though, <laughs> look at the size of this chicken nugget. It's crazy. <laughs> it's orange. It's the next thing that's gonna win. It's the next thing. Chicken nuggets gonna win. Chicken nugget. It's man. orange. Bro, I got two of them, man. They're massive. Now that we're not, now that we're not on the timer, right? I actually think the best deck is a pretty safe bet. I think. I didn't uh, know if you wanted think... to actually say a deck, or it was like. Like the idea of like knowing what a bet. That's why I was like, well, I I don't always know what the best deck is because like, you know, yeah, but you could. Hey man, all I asked is if you knew what the best deck of the next format will be. You I didn't know if I was allowed to disagree with the statement. Cause... Well, you just have to be honest. Yeah, you just have to be honest or lie, depending or on lie in your Discord DMs. That is true. Did you forget how you usually play this game? You're usually the no. best at disagreeing specifically with the statement. That is very <laughs> correct, but. I think it's very funny that I I think the bit for this week was to make Jamie lie three times. There's no get... bit. I am I am dead ass. I do use a uh, a random number generator. So, but it, See, what he doesn't know is the developers though, have put an April Fool's joke in, and they have just made it pick the third option every single time. Every single time. Because I love giving Andrew editing work, and this YouTube short will go crazy. Last week, we had Tommy Tricks on for uh, Misplay. Sorry, for... Uh, lethal. Uh, lethal. He was on Misplay. He's here for Lethal or Living. And he said, nothing... Nobody out there like Jamie Conquest has bad things happen to good people. And Jamie is good people who has bad things happen. <laughs> so it would be very Jamie to actually, get three weeks in a row of lying, right? Actually, like, answering the question, it's like, well... We know that, like, Nume uh, armor vaccine is, like, the triangle to beat, right? Like, if I was to actually answer the question based off of, like, next format, which would be, as of recording BT16, um, those are, like, the three perceived best decks. But for all I know, Lord of Halifax is going to show up with Machine anyway. So why does that matter? (laughs) So real. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Andrew, do we have the numbers? We do have the numbers. Oh, we got a follower before we got the numbers. Yeah. uh, Lima TW and also Tordim5566. Thank you for the follow. Um, Ooh. and thank you to 100% of the vote for putting those monocoins on Marcio being the liar. Is that- You guys case? thought I was being re- I was lying? Why would I lie about not knowing what the- Do you think I just, like, have a fucking, like, board with, like, a <laughs> tier list, like, at home in, like, red string and, like, guys, I already know what the best deck is before the sets even come out. You know? Maybe it's just like- lying with your whiteboard behind you? No, I generally like if you know me in person, I just played that. Oh, what the fuck? Did, did we die? No, wait, well, did you the die? Discord oh, the, the preview is screen up. Share. Discord, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. okay. Don't yeah, even if, worry. If you don't know me in person, I just pick my deck based off of vibes. 
like I spent a whole I've format. seen the board. <laughs> <laughs> no, I picked my deck based off of vibes. For BT13, I was like for the 3v3 event, I was testing blue flare because I thought it was a good pick. And then like a week before the event, I picked red I brought red hybrid. Because mm -hmm. I was just like, ah, fuck it. I can't like think I can't be bothered to think about what I have to do. I've played red hybrid before. I'll just do well with it. And I did. But then you defaulted to Bloom again for uh, for regionals. Okay, the reason why I picked Bloom for regionals was because somebody in the chat, uh, Keosuchi, aka Ozman, he wasn't going to be at the regional, so he had the five <laughs> check for game. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> um, so he like gave, gave me an M with like a Bloom list, and we tested that for the whole format. And I was like, this list is so good that like if it's only like Emily playing it. It doesn't do it justice. The list was so good that like I I I had to play it just because it was that good. Well, the chat says Marcio, Marcio. After all that hullabaloo, a lot of yapping. Were you the liar? I was not the liar. I was telling the truth. I don't know what the best is. The best deck is most of the time. Uh, our liar, of course, then is Mr. Jamie Conquest, who not only completes the first triple win in Mem Gauge the Room history, he's also the first triple liar. The brain man. He well was, done, Jamie. He was triple but, liar. But... He was zero points on all of them. And I feel like he answered zero of the questions. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. The, the way the best way to win is to just ignore the question. <laughs> just steal off other people, innit? Just tell us what your tournament run was instead, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about the monster monster today. <laughs> tell me about Jogger. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Oh, right. You want to learn about Jogger? You put two cards. I knew trouble. his ass was lying the moment that he committed to just like Jamie. Let's the colors. Yeah. <laughs> no, as soon as he said, "I know what the thing," I'm like, "This guy couldn't tell you a single card that releases in BT16." There's no. I can Toru Goromon. Bro, bro said orange, and you guys <laughs> didn't suss him out. <laughs> That's what I mean. Is yeah, what I you oh, bro, like orange. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the colors here, and my brain goes, "Ah, yes, red and yellow next to each other, orange." Yeah, what's crazy is you start. <laughs> well, you're did you forget shine. that you were the liar? Because you start going, "Ah, oh, yeah, I know absolutely what it is," and then we're like, "No, it, <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be, it'll be, it, uh, it'll be so, something. Yeah, something's gonna win. There are cards in the Digimon game." Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's what actually I'm... a Mew. It's actually Mew. <laughs> Mew V-Star. <laughs> bro, I have no idea. I'm just looking at playing Dorogoromon. That is all. You can't, you're not even playing Dor- Oh, wait, wait, yeah. For 16, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, you can't even play Dorogoromon right now. You play Goldramon. You're getting Goldramon. You love no. that guy. I love Goldramon. Yeah, he's a, he's a cool good. He's, he's I thought cool Andrew was gonna good. be like, oh, hell yeah, dude. Armors to the moon. But like so you actually boys, gave like a reasonable answer. Yeah. I'm sorry to have inflicted this psychological damage upon you. I, I hope all of you are still friends after this. <laughs> I got live three times in a row, Tom. Dude, or, I orange... swear to God, I draw straws. You just drew the little straw. Orange, or, orange is crazy, and the fact that nobody picked up on it is even wilder. Uh, uh, so congratulations. As well. Congratulations once again to Mr. Jamie Conquest. You are apparently the greatest of all time memory gauge the room player. We have nothing but decisive evidence to suggest any other thing to do with it. Um, but thank you as always for watching live on twitch.tv slash KNTLXR where you guys can gamble along too. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't miss it live next time. Remember, you can um, choose to abstain from memory gauge the room. The house does always win, but it's more fun when there's something on the line because you can be invested in only, uh, no one answering the question correctly.